Welcome to Empowering You for Victory. We're meeting like this every uh, Sunday, every day at 7 o'clock, Sundays at 6 o'clock. Today is Monday and praise the Lord. These messages are kept on Facebook and YouTube and you can also go over it at your convenience. God richly bless you. Today, the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you is that you are a new creation. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus. God did not patch up your old life. God took your old life and crucified it on the cross. And God gave you a brand new life. In fact, he recreated you. I want to read it from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 to verse 21. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The word is creation. All things are passed away, and behold, come and see, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and had given unto us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, not counting men's sins against them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ that be reconciled to God. Why? For he had made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Praise God for his word. When you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you were born again. You are not just a forgiven sinner. Your old life was crucified with Christ on the cross. That old life was buried with Christ in the tomb. And when Christ rose again from the dead, you rose again together with Christ. And you ascended together with Christ and are seated together with him in heavenly places. So your new life began in the resurrection of Christ. Your old life died in the death of Christ. And that's why the Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. You must know beyond a shadow of a doubt, you are not a forgiven sinner. It's not a patched up life. Your spirit man is born again, is born anew. And you are born again in the image of God, the likeness of God. And you are just like Jesus in your spirit man. And that is why you can be one with Jesus. In fact, the Bible says, and all things are of God. So this new creature is of God. It is God. God who caused you to be born again. No man, no church, no bishop or apostle caused that to happen. No human being can ever cause you to be born of God. Only God. You are born again of God, your Father. And you are a new creature. Now you'll never become old in your spirit. You are forever new in your spirit. Praise the Lord. And so you must know we're talking about your human spirit. Your human spirit is born again. The old man, the old spirit is crucified with Christ. The new spirit man, your new spirit is risen together with Christ and Christ's spirit is in union with your spirit. This says, and all things of God. And all things are of God. Meaning, your spirit man is made perfect. 
it's made as perfect as God is made perfect. And the last verse, why we draw this conclusion, Paul says, for he made him, Jesus, to be sin for us who knew no sin. God made Jesus to be sin for you. He knew no sin. And the purpose was that you might be made the righteousness of God in him. So when you're born again, you're a God-made man. You're a God-made woman. You're a God-made son of God. And you made the righteousness of God. You are made as right as God is right. And these things are of God who has reconciled us to himself. God joined us together with himself by Jesus Christ. And now he's given unto you the ministry of reconciliation. And this is the word of reconciliation. This ministry, you are called to be a minister. And this is the word you preach. That God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. And he wasn't counting men's sins against them. He was blotting out men's sins by his death. And he's committed unto us. God has committed to you this word for you to preach to unbelievers and to Christians who don't understand that. That's why it says, now then, you are ambassadors for Christ. In other words, you are in the image of God and you represent God. And when you speak, it's as though God is speaking. Now that's who you are spiritually. Now your mind needs to be renewed by these truths so that your mind can think in terms of who you are spiritually. And then your outer man, which is perishing, begins to be quickened by the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead and sickness and disease is driven out of your body. This revelation is crucial for you to live this powerful life as a Christian in the earth. God richly, richly bless you and let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray in all your people's getting, they will get understanding that they are new creatures, they are ambassadors for Christ, that when they speak to unbelievers and to Christians who don't understand, it's as though God is speaking. Lord, may they be skilled in the word of righteousness. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God richly bless you, and we'll see you on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.